Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi, postseason baseball singing. It's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching players coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And starting in this one, you Darvish. What do you got on him, Chris? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. That's in there. And the count one and two. That's out to center field. Merrill moving under this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Here's Mookie now. Out to short, Bogarts. Throws the first in time, and Betts is set down. Two outs, space is empty. And now Freddie Freeman. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two. On the ground to first, arise. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Dodgers go down quietly, and now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Back here at Petco Park, and today's starting pitcher, Jack Flaherty. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, and the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernandez, ranging back, pulls it in on the warning track. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro form. Two outs. On the ground, right side. And that is that. Padres go down quietly. We played an inning. No score.
Top of the second. And now Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. And a foul ball. Let's talk about great individual postseasons. One that really sticks out to me is Ricky Anderson in 1989. He hit 441 with three homers and 11 stolen bases, leading Oakland to a World Series championship. In the air, right field. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. And the pitch. That one no, not close. Two and one. Man, when I think about great postseason performances, hard to top Carlos Beltran in 2004. Eight homers and six steals in 12 games with the Houston Astros. He didn't even get to play in the World Series that year. The 2 1. Foul ball there. Two two down. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing and a miss struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Man at second. Fouls one off. Two and two. No score here in the second. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. And now it's Gavin Lux. Here's a 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Runner at second, two down. Here in game four of the NLDS. Wouldn't Three, chase one. that time. Tommy Edmond waits on deck. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Righty to the plate. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The Dodgers looking to strike first here in game four. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Right side, hard hit. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for L.A. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Manny Machado now. Third baseman, Manny Machado. Here's a 1-1. Just oh. missed. 
Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Balls it in, and there's one away. Batting good. The center fielder. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The line in the pitch. That one ripped, but foul. One out, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Betts sizes this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that quickly, two away. That is it. Not short stop. Here's Xander Bogarts. Bogart. Two outs, base is empty. And that one upstairs. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing there for the Friars. We'll move to the third with no score. here in San Diego and here comes Tommy Edmond that just misses and that's ball two two balls one strike to kick the pitch just Full off count. the inside corner and it's three and two really good take especially with two strikes good plate Ball appearance four. there able to take the walk Miguel Rojas at the plate and a two one on the way Ground ball left side could be two on a Cronenworth. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Kike Hernandez digs in now. And he deals. Yeah. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. In the dirt, and it's two and two. Just misses with that one. Mookie Betts waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Top of the third, no score. Ground ball, left side. The throw to first, and that'll do it. Home half of the third coming up, no score. And we're back. Stepping in, Jake Cronenworth. The second baseman. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Stays alive.
Hit hard on the ground to short. Now a jump throw, but he beats it out. And the leadoff man is on with an infield single. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. David Peralta at the plate. At the belt and fires. Hit on the ground, might be two. On a second, they get one. Relay to first, double play. Higashioka will hit next. And ball, another ball. Low. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Mookie Betts. One and two now. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time, and the drop third strike leads to the first out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Two and one now. Bounce to the left side. Machado throws That's to first in time, and Freeman is retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. To the right side. And it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. All over that one right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Man at second here with two away. Max Muncy now at the plate. Two outs. Sliced hard, but foul. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. The one-two. That's Thank down and in. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Runner at second, two down. Grounder into the outfield for a knock. Headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. one nothing. Picks himself up in RBI. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Two outs, runner at first. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. Two balls, one strike.
One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. In the air, right side. Balls it into Indiana. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. Game four of the division series. Now at the plate, Luis Arias. Lifted in the air, out to left. Hernandez settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. Now back, the designated hitter. So with one down, it'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. This guy who grew up in big league clubhouses. Got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Profar climbs in on that left side. Two down, nobody on. In for a strike. One and two. Just no, missed. It's a good take. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Padres down in order. And it remains 1-0. here at Petco Park. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. The 1-1. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Lux stands at second with no outs. And a one two. Swings, throw it in. That's a strikeout. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Kicks and deals. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Lux up to third on the wild pitch. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. Two one now. Hard ground ball, base nine. In to score is the runner from third, and they take a two-run lead. 
You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's Kike Hernandez. Exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation when he needs something on the ground. Here's a one two. Next offering misses down and away. Two and two. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Mookie now. Two outs. In the air, left field. Profar has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's two zip. This is the National League Division Series on the show. Back here in San Diego, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now Machado up here. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. Two balls, two strikes. pitch gets to it with a slide to first it's there and that's a great play well Boog is an infielder you have to be ready for anything in that spot it required going to the ground getting a little dirty and making a strong throw for the out great play Jackson Merrill the next up for the Padres one down base is empty Side low and a count two and one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. Rojas under it. Two up, two down. And here is Xander Bogarts. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. In for a strike, and the count one and two. Looking sharp, just a strike one, away two. from five shutout innings. Pitch in two, the dirt, two. two and two. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. Three up, three down for San Diego, and they're down two nothing. the bullpen for the Padres Adrian Mora home pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit the third base number five Freddie and the pitch 
you know, these Dodgers really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. The 3 1. And it's fouled away. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Cronenworth. And Freeman is retired. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad oh. yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to huddle yeah. up a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Outside. Oh. Three two now on a line base hit so a man aboard now with one away right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field man there are a lot of hits there one gone runner at first here's Muncie to hit. One thing with Max Muncy, and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here. He hammers the fastball. The one two. Good job to fight that one off. Hernandez at first, one gone. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The pitch. Just no, off the out. outside part of the plate. Really nice slider right there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Step off throw to first. Hey. Hernandez back on a dive. Two two now. Runner on the goal. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Rose to second. Tag, and he's in there. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. One out, runner at second. And here's the intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility. With one away and runners at first and second. Gavin Lux. So one out with two aboard. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Bogarts makes the catch. Tommy Edmond, the next to hit. Tommy Edmund. Two on, two outs. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. That one missed. Two. 
Got it by him for the kill. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Seven, eight, nine due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres nothing. We're back. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. The second baseman. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. to short Rojas zips it across one away bottom of the sixth now that the right fielder so up next David Peralta hit on the ground to the right side Muncie steps on the bag, two up, two down. Up next to the pocket, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Two outs, base is empty. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. The 2 2. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park, where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the LA Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Struck him out, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Padres go down quietly. They trail in this one 3 0. Pitching change here, Jeremiah Estrada. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And the right hander deals. Inside just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Out of line, out towards center. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Kike Hernandez. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And down on strikes. Now two away. And now it's Mookie Betts. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. Stairs. <laughs> 
two outs. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Turns and fires to Betts. Still 2 and 2 after the foul ball. Got him. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they lead it 3 0. Here at Petco Park, bottom of the seventh, Luis Arise stands in. The Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that's a fair ball. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Tatis waits. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off balance in this one. We've seen a lot of missed time swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. The punch out there, and now one away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but in some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now batting jerks in Profar. Gets a piece and stays alive. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. This looks like extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scored position and just one out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his back through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over, and that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. One away, runners at second and third. Next for the Padres, Manny Machado. Tying run at the plate. Swings and misses. And the count is one and two. Got him swinging. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one. Not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. And now here is Jackson Merrill. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Playable Betts makes the grab, and there's one away. Padres leave a pair. They trail it here, 3-0. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Wandy Peralta. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Struck him out looking. 
So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And now the lefty. Two and two. Hey, right, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. And that's outside. Count is full. And that one hammered. That ball's carrying. Back gone. A solo shot. And they add to the lead. It's 4 0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Max Muncy at the dish. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. One down, base is empty. Inside, and it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. The batter now will be Will Smith. Will Smith. Here's a 1 1. And a swing and a miss. Clearly was sick on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. across in the frame so far late here in game four swings and misses struck him out well there he gets the slider in on his hands and it just eats him off you know it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight you just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate can't get any extension that's what he definitely should have laid off of And at first, here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Dirt, and it's two and two. Two outs. Popped up. Arise has it sized up. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Alex Vesia. 
Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Gets yeah. him to chase after that one. Activity one, in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Shohei Otani appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Hudson also getting ready. The one two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Fouls it off, still one and two. And they'll do it again. The one, two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. The shortstop takes the ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Comes a 2-2. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And another ball. center field so they get a man aboard with a one-out single well that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock those always feel good that misses and a count to a walk And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Next That's offering is downstairs. Full count. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming. Shohei Otani taking over on the mound. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Kyle Higashioka. And here it comes. Swing and a foul straight back. And he deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Cronenworth, the runner at first with two gone. The belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That ends the inning. One left for San Diego. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Hoeing. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Tommy Edmond.
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Rip to short. Fires over to first. Now one gone in the ninth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. That's a laser base hit. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So the batting order turns over. Next is the Dodger DH, Enrique Hernandez. And another oh. ball. Man at first, one away. That one fouled off, two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Swings through that one for strike two. One and two, the count. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. So one hit is all they get. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Dodgers four and the Padres nothing. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now the first baseman, Luis Arias. Ninth inning elimination game. Chris, it's a tall task. They're going to need a crooked number to tie this game up. Yeah, and they just have to remember that they have had many innings over the course of the year where they've scored more runs needed than they need in this one. So just relax, get your pitch, and make something happen. He's two outs away. Next is the designated hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. Next Ball, offering misses. Down. Two balls, two strikes. And that's outside. Down. Three and two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Late cutting action to get the swing and miss right there. I mean, that's just really hard to account for as a hitter when you're seeing the fastball all the way and then just at the last moment, it darts away from you and you can't reach it. They're down to their final strike. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Otani is just one 